This example asks us to add and subtract some rational expressions. In the first one, we have square root of 4x to the 7th y to the 5th plus 9x squared square root of x cubed y to the 5th minus 5xy square root of x to the 5th y cubed. And the idea is we want to get these combinations of variables and radicals to look the same on each one of these terms. We'll have different numbers. We'll have different coefficients out front. Um, and sometimes you can't get all the variables and radicals to match up, but you want to get as close to that as you can. So let's simplify each one of these. These are square roots, so we're looking for perfect squares inside. All right, so I'm going to rewrite this first one as, well, 4 is 2 squared. That's nice. Um, x to the 7th, I can peel off an x. That leaves us with x to the 6th times x. I did it as x to the 6th because that's a perfect square. How do I know? Because it's divisible by 2. Right, same thing with y here. We have y to the fifth. I'm going to peel off a single y. That leaves us with y to the fourth left behind, which is a perfect square because it's divisible by 2. Okay, next term over here, we have 9x squared, so that's still hanging out in the front here. And then inside, x cubed, I'm going to write as x squared times x. Again, I'm trying to find even exponents of this because I want something divisible by 2 because I'm taking square roots. Same thing with y again. y to the fifth becomes y to the fourth times y. And then over to the next term, 5xy is still out in the front here. x to the fifth, we're going to break off an x to the fourth times x. And then y cubed is going to be, well, we need something divisible by 2. So I'm thinking y squared times y. All right. So let's see what makes it out of the square root and what is left behind. 2 squared, square root of that is just 2. Square root of x to the 6th is x cubed, right? Square root of x to the 6th is x to the 6th over 2, x cubed. So really we're just dividing all these exponents by 6 to see what they are when they come out of the square root. So for the same reason, y to the 4th is going to come out as y squared. Okay, so that leaves us with 2 x cubed y squared. What's left behind? Looks like just an x and a y. Okay, on to the next term. We have x squared, so that pops out as an x. y to the fourth, again, y to the fourth, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that comes out to the front as a y squared. Looks like x squared and x combined to give us x cubed, so we have plus 9x cubed y squared. And then what's left behind? Well, we have an x and a y left behind. So square root of x and y. And you kind of want to check a little bit. Look, these have the same combination of variables and radicals. That's what I was talking about. This is what we want to have happen with these, if possible. Um, let's go on to the third term here. We have x to the fourth. OK, that comes out as x squared. 4 divided by 2 is 2. And a y squared. Well, square root of anything squared is just the thing itself. We're assuming all these variables are positive, so we don't need an absolute value or anything like that. All right, so what are we left with? We have minus 5x. We have x already times x squared gives us x cubed. We had a y already times another y, y squared. What's left behind? x and y, so square root of x and y. There we go. OK. Well, now look, we have the same combination of variables again. This is what we wanted. x cubed y squared, square root of xy. So now we just combine like terms. So I'm just looking at the coefficients now. 2 plus 9 is 11. Minus 5 is 6. So that gives us 6. And then we just list off the variables. x cubed y squared, square root of xy. All right. They won't always just be one term like this. A lot of times you'll get two terms, but Certainly, the ideal problem really simplifies down to just a single term. For part b, we have 2 cubed root of 24x cubed y to the fourth plus 4x cubed root of y to the fourth. So here we're looking for powers of 3 inside that radical because it takes a power of 3 to get out of a cubed root. So let's see what we have here. So let's rewrite this a little bit. We have 2 cubed root of... Hmm, well, 24, let's look closely at 24 over here. 24 is actually, let's do 8 times 3, and 8 is our perfect cube, right? 8 is 2 cubed. So we can write this as cubed root of 2 cubed 
times 3. Well, the x cubed is ready to go. And then y to the fourth, I'm going to peel off a single y to give us y cubed times y. So the y cubed is going to make it out of the radical there. All right, on to the next term. We have 4x cubed root of 81. So let's look at 81. We want to find a perfect cube somewhere tucked into the factors of 81. How about 27 times 3? Right, you should know the basic powers of 3, right? So you should know that 2 cubed is 8, 3 cubed is 27, 4 cubed, 64, 5 cubed, 125, right? It'll just make life easier. Just make sure you have those in. on mental recall. Life will just be a little easier. Okay, back to our term over here. We have 4x cubed root of 81 is 27 times 3. Well, I'm going to write 27 as 3 cubed. 3 cubed times 3. And then y to the fourth, I'm going to peel off a y cubed. And then we have a single y there because y cubed can break out of this cubed root. All right. So 2 cubed, so cubed root of that is 2. The 3 is left behind. x cubed comes out as an x. y cubed comes out as a y. The y is left behind. So this gives us... Well, 2 times 2 is 4xy out front, cubed root of what's left behind. So it looks like we have a 3y left behind. Okay, second term. Let's see what makes it out. 3 cubed, so cubed root of that is simply 3. And then it looks like we have a y cubed. Well, cubed root of that is a y. So combining the 3 with the 4, multiplying, that gives us plus 12x y, there was already an x there, cubed root of what's left behind, a 3 and a y again. 3 and a y. And let's see if we have the same combination of variables and radicals. We do. xy cubed root of 3y, xy cubed root of 3y, of 3y. That's the best case scenario for these. Now we just look at our coefficients out to the front. 4 plus 12 is 16, so that leaves us with final answer of 16xy cubed root of 3y.